What is good, everybody on YouTube? It is your boy Forrest Ripperton back at it again with another video. Get it. What is popping, everybody? If it's too loud, like I'm, I'm gonna give y'all a, you know what I'm saying, heads up. If it's too loud, I'm outside. It's cars driving on the street and shit like that, and people working on like their cars and all that other stuff. But hopefully, it's not too loud for y'all. But what is popping, everybody? It's only my third day out here. I, I don't know. Like on my Uzi shit. It's only my third day out here. I, I don't know. Like, it's really my fourth day. But, yeah, y'all. I got out here on Sunday and today is Wednesday. And, yeah, what's popping? Like, we, 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 we been out here for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I've been able to get a little, little teeny weeny feel of like how it is to be out here in la man the weather out here is immaculate bro like every morning i come outside and sit on these like little benches just feel the weather and just you know what i'm saying if i if i was a coffee drinking person i'd come out here and drink coffee and just read a book and some shit like that but it really feel good outside um it do get hot my I man it's not the summertime but it was hot the other day like i just got my new tattoos and shit so that's my skin was burning and all the other shit but yeah as y'all saw on sunday I went to Venice and shit like that, walked around the beach and all that there. Um, and then Monday, we went out to Merrill's. I didn't vlog, like I told y'all, I was trying to like, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to like get the first hand experience before I start like picking up my camera a little bit because I want to be able to feel, you know what I'm saying? Because sometimes when I'm recording, I can't really feel it as much. So on Monday, we went out Merrill's because we were supposed to visit some man that was supposed to help us like figure some shit out, like learn some stuff, but he wasn't there. So we just walked around Merrill's and I got to like look at some of the stores and shit like that and it was cool and i found this one thrift store that i'm gonna vlog i'm gonna vlog when i go over there i was gonna vlog yesterday but they was closing up because of the election shit so they had closed real early and i'm also putting a job application there too it's called reconstruct that place is really hard so i'm gonna give y'all like a vlog whenever they open back up and shit like that but yeah like that was one of the stores that i actually went in like i didn't go in all the stores because i just wasn't i was just trying to just walk around you know what i'm saying so I saw that store and I was like, this is too hard not to go in. So I went in there, it was cool. I actually bought a shirt. I'm outside, I should have I should have bought y'all a shirt. But if y'all looked on my Instagram story, I uh, bought an um, American Thunder shirt. That joke was hard. But yeah, it was like pretty cool. I'm, I'm, I'm just getting, a, you know what I'm saying? I'm just getting a, a, a feel to everything. I'm just getting a feel to everything. What was Tuesday? What did I do Tuesday? What was, oh, that was yesterday. Yesterday, what did I do? I'm trying to think what I did yesterday. Um, we went to the post office. Oh, we went to Staples because I had to go print out my job application and shit like that. And we went back up there, yeah. So we went back up there and that's when we found out that they was closed because we was trying to like give them our application. So we just slid it through the door and gave it to the man because they was closing up. Like literally because of this election, like a lot of stores was boarding up. Like it's literally like stores was boarded up, bro. Like. They putting banging in hammers like the nails and all that shit into the thing because they thinking that people gonna riot and shit if um Trump don't win and all this other bullshit that's going on with the election, bro. And it's just like that. That's crazy. But yeah, so I probably won't be going to like no stores or going nowhere for the next like couple days until like this shit all gets situated. But yeah, I'm still able to enjoy this weather and all this other shit. So. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm still getting adjusted to it. My car, I'm I'm almost getting my car out here. Um, I've been talking to the car people. So that's in the works, like as we speak, like literally I just got off the phone with the car people. So that's in the works as well. Once I get my car out here, it's lit. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty much just trying to like, what like, what I'm trying to do out here is pretty much do the same thing I was doing when I went to New York, even the same thing I was doing when I was at home, like be able to make my sweaters, uh, push my thrift store stuff. Also, I might take, well not might, I'm gonna take like my modeling stuff a little bit seriouser, seriouser or seriously. I think it's seriously, but yeah, I wanna take that a little bit more serious. Um, so I'm reaching out to like different photographers. I'm gonna try to find different brands. Also like just, try to find other different clothes and like put shit together and just do a bunch of photo shoots and all that other shit and also i'm gonna pick up styling i'm gonna try to pick up styling i know somebody out here that i'm gonna try to like you know what i'm saying work with and try to like be mentored and try to see what they do because like i i, I want to do styling but i'm not sure like 100 percent how it goes like of course you can just dress somebody but it is more than just dressing somebody so i also want to learn that shit too but I'm really, I'm really just trying to figure this shit all out and moving all the way on the other side of the map. Hold on, I'm gonna wait.
and moving all the way on the other side of the map really might be a big inspiration like it's just gonna help me work harder and get my shit together so hopefully this is real good for me like i said um i'm just trying to do a bunch of shit like ain't nothing really changed the only thing that really changed is just my environment you know what i'm saying so nothing really else changed of like what i'm trying to do y'all already know how we get down with the youtube shit y'all already know we we not slackers we trying to figure this shit out we trying to go up in the world you know what i'm saying so that's pretty much what i'm doing i'm still on my creative shit this is just a new environment you know what i'm saying sometimes your environment is what's holding you back sometimes a lot of people be like well you could do anything from anywhere but like i don't want people to underestimate the environment that you're in if the environment that you're in isn't like what you need like creatively like me personally creativity creatively whatever the fuck word is I need that that atmosphere around me, you know what I'm saying? Being in Maryland, like, it's creative people out there, and, like, my good men out there, and we link up. But it's like, I need a place where it's like, like, I feel it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel that. So that's why I fuck with LA, and that's why I fuck with New York. So, I'm saying, I'm gonna be out here as long as I feel like I need to be out here. And who's to say I might not go back to New York sometime? You know what I'm saying? It's just like, I don't want y'all to think that I'm out here, and it's like, oh, strictly, I'm gonna be out here. If I feel like, I got what I needed to get out here or I'm feeling like it's not moving how I wanted to move or I feel like it's not good, then I'ma just try to figure out where the next place to go at. Y'all already know I fuck with New York. Like I always keep New York in the back of my mind because I really fuck with New York. Like don't get me wrong, I love New York. I'ma i am I'm a give LA a feel though, you know what I'm saying? I just don't want y'all to think that if if like a month or two or three or four or maybe even a year from now I'd be like, yeah y'all I'm going to New York or I'm going to such and such. I don't want y'all to be like, damn bro, what you doing? Like this is all really a journey for me, bro. Like, I'm just trying to move around while I can because I don't have no big responsibilities like that. Like, I don't got no kids is what I mean by big responsibilities. So, I really can up and move and go wherever I need to go, wherever I feel like I need to go. So, I can move however I want to move. So, I'm just trying, trying to get a certain feel. I'm at an age where this is when you're supposed to do this shit. A lot of people aren't able to do this shit like this because they get too old and they get too many responsibilities and they're like damn i wish i would have did this 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 when i was younger so i'm just trying to take advantage of my age take advantage of everything that's going on so i could you know what i'm saying find myself you know what i'm saying i'm still at the age to try to find myself we don't we all don't know what we are and what we doing really you know what i'm saying so i'm just trying to figure this shit all out and yeah i, I don't want fear to hold me back from doing what i want to do or finding my true passion or getting me millions you dig what i'm saying yeah y'all see that, that that light right there but yeah this shit is like i should make this shit like the road to riches you know what i'm saying i'm trying to get m's you dig what i'm saying i'm trying to really go crazy have a bunch of thrift stores have a fucking bunch of stores a bunch of just shit going on like saying my face all over the place saying my name all over the place and shit like that like that's what i'm trying to do i'm trying to make a big impact on the world and in this creative field you know what i'm saying so and with the help of y'all we gonna do that shit you know what i'm saying so like I was saying, if it's anybody out here who's in LA, and not even just LA, just California in general, y'all try to link up, photo shoot, just go thrift in, anything like that, you know what I'm saying? I don't know weird shit, I don't want nobody to be on none of that. Weird shit, nothing like, nothing like that. I want genuine vibes and all that there, and we can make this shit happen, you know what I'm saying? Make this shit popping, you dig know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm feeling real good about it though. Like I said, once my car get out here, I'm gonna feel a lot more better, cause like, all right, I got something that, you know what I'm saying, that I can feel more, I can move around a little bit better. Cause we've been getting on the bus and hopping on the train and shit like that. And it's not bad. Like, you know what I'm saying? Niggas was doing this in New York. Niggas was doing this fucking back in high school. I've been riding buses and trains almost all my life. So that ain't nothing new to me. So it's not like, oh my God, what the fuck? But I do have a car. So that's gonna make it a little bit better. Especially out here in LA, you can drive like wherever you need. I know people was telling me about um the traffic out here, probably OC. I haven't, I want to see how that go. But yeah, we, 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 we out here vibing, you dig what I'm saying? We gonna figure this shit all out. I appreciate everybody who been sending me good luck and all that there. I really appreciate y'all, for real, so. We in this journey together. I wanted to just sit down and let y'all know, like, just updating y'all on the past three, four days that I've been here, let y'all know, like, what's been going on and shit like that, so. Like I said, I might not be having like a lot of like vlogs. I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna figure it out because a lot of stores like boarding up and shit like that, so. I don't know what else we gonna be doing and shit like that for right now, but. Y'all know if I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna try to vlog and I'm gonna try to get y'all videos. I, I got like, I wrote down a list of shit that I'm gonna talk about. I don't wanna make 
all my videos such and such in LA, such and such in LA. Like I still want it to be the regular scheduled program. You know what I'm saying? Like me talking about different topics and all that other stuff. Like I said, the only thing that changes the location. What's going on on the YouTube and the shit that I talk about and the shit that I do, ain't none of that gonna change. It's just I'm in LA, you know what I'm saying? So, cause I see a lot of people who when they move to LA or they move to a different state, all their videos are such and such in LA, the newest da 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 in LA. I'm gonna give y'all some of those videos, but I wanted to, I want to keep it you know what I'm saying? I don't want people to just think, oh, he's just gonna make a bunch of LA videos. Like we we stand me, we stand true to self. You dig what I'm saying? So y'all loyal anyway. Y'all fuck with me. I fuck with y'all. We a family, so I ain't got no worries and y'all not supporting and shit like that. Cause y'all been holding me down this long. So yeah, I just wanna get y'all update. And we ain't going nowhere with the videos. Y'all know we gonna keep dropping. We gonna keep doing our thing. And yeah, it's only up, like only up from here. You dig what I'm saying? So, yeah, I still got that level of nervousness, you know what I'm saying? Trying to figure out what the fuck gonna happen. But at this point, it's just like, fuck it. Like, I'm here now. Like, get the, you know what I'm saying? Do what I gotta do and make shit happen. So, yeah, just wanted to give y'all that little update. And we in LA, man. I'm, I, I feel like I'm gonna say that every time in my videos. We in LA, man. We in LA. You know what I'm saying? Let's get it popping. So, I'll see y'all in the next video. I appreciate all y'all for sending y'all good luck to all that there. And yeah, go like my, you know what I'm saying? Go like my pictures on Instagram, you know what I'm saying? Uh, if y'all don't follow me, y'all new subscribers or whatever's going on, what's happening? What's popping? Comment below. Give me some likes. I told y'all we need some likes, comments, all that underneath these videos so they can elevate, you know what I'm saying? We trying to road to 100,000 subscribers, road to a million subscribers. Y'all already know what we trying to do. We almost at 6,000, so. Let's get this shit popping. You dig what I'm saying? And I'll see y'all in the next video. It's your boy, Forrest Ripperton. And we are out. Giddy.